I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> what I'm doing here. <laughs> so we would have been on four minutes ago, but it took that long to uh, share the show. Yeah. Via we uh, mobile phone. Brian, Brian still can't figure out how to bring up the live chat. So any questions for Brian, direct them towards <laughs> my phone, which is everybody I got else's it, phone. But you got me trying to do something else, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not right. my fault. We're back. We're live. We are. Um, we What's got, we going got, on? Mine still says starting soon. Jeff. I don't know what's going on over here with Rift, but he's having problems. There's a there's a little All bit right. of delay on it. Okay, how do I share post? A little bit posting. of delay on it. it. Something's posting. I'm doing something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it says posted. I guess I'm good. I'm going with it. All right. Well, we appreciate everybody joining in on the show tonight, and um, we uh, we're gonna play a game tonight. We're gonna get to that in just a little bit. Wait, I've it... lost comments. Are you done talking? No. That's my job. I'm you know, on the show. Do you know to how talk. to bring up the comments? This hit, is a talking show. Hit live chat. Why are you telling hit me Hit live that? chat. There is no thing that says live chat. Jeff. Where's it at? Can what? you help this man? What are you trying to do, really? See he, comments. He, See the comments? It's like the first time he's ever used yeah. an iPhone. Maybe the second. All right, Sherlock. Get over here and snoop around and figure this out. <laughs> All uh, right. Uh, while they're working on that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the uh, the show tonight. So first off, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. Happy belated I that too. Thanksgiving. I couldn't get it back around. And uh, they can hear you, Brian, because your microphone's in front of your face. I know. I'm, this, again, this is a talk show. <laughs> I am talking. I hit the uh, live chat button. Okay, we'll hit that. <laughs> Perfect. He said that doesn't exist on his phone. <laughs> live chat. You come over here, Sherlock. Look at my phone. <laughs> hey, it took him a minute. It took him a minute. <laughs> at least 17 seconds. So back to, <laughs> back to what we were talking about. Um, so happy Thanksgiving. Happy late Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Hey, what's what, so? My wife cooks a gigantic feast for twenty-something people on Thanksgiving. And I'm going to tell you my favorite, and I don't know if any of y'all out there have this, but my favorite dish of all the turkeys, dressing, sides, desserts, everything that she makes is corn casserole. She has a recipe that's umpteen thousand years old for a corn casserole, and it's probably a little different than a lot of people have on Thanksgiving. That's funny you say that. I was going to say my favorite dish Allie makes is a crock pot corn dish. This, okay. All you, right. It's delicious. That's interesting. So like both green of us corn type thing? No, well, not really. It's corn. It's got like um I mean I don't know what's got in it, but I mean is it's it got like macaroni with corn instead of noodles. Huh? Like macaroni with <laughs> that's noodles impossible. With corn. That's just corn. No, it's My corn. grandma no, used to make a corn pie. There's no macaroni in there. It's corn. No, I'm saying substitute corn for macaroni noodles. I guarantee it's got this in it. That would just it's be got corn. Crushed up crackers. <laughs> eggs, <laughs> eggs and milk and things like that. It's, Angie Hunsinger wants the recipe. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Um, I'll see if I can get that recipe for you, Angie. I, I know my wife will give it to me if she happens to be watching tonight. She's balancing two kids at ballet right now, getting ready to get them home. And get she should them have ready time to, to post the recipe. She may not have time to post it, but yeah, you'd be surprised <laughs> if she's peeping the show right now. Then she might just throw it up there. But Angie, if not, I'll try to get it for you, and I'll uh, I'll try to bring it out on the show. But I'm telling you right now. There you go, Ryan Sowers, his stepmom from North Carolina, and she makes an amazing corn casserole. Maybe it's a North Carolina it might, thing. Maybe it's a North Carolina thing. Maybe it is. Uh, Ryan Sowers says he wants the recipe, too. I'm telling you, so I could eat like, like when I eat leftovers, I eat like a gigantic paper plate of corn casserole. <laughs> like, I don't even eat the turkey and <laughs> stuff. Like, I just, she she just, just said she would post it when she gets home. So look, there you go, look, man. there, you, there go. you go. Thanks, darling. Everybody so I told you, Jeff. Keep she, your I eyes told open you, for I told Emily you. Airy's secret <laughs> corn casserole recipe. Eastern North Carolina. Eastern North Carolina. Yep, you. that's right. All right, so there we're going to get go. you all the corn casserole recipe. Let us know what y'all's favorite dishes are. And I tell you right now, we're open to recipes, too, if y'all want to throw up any yeah, recipes we'll just in turn here. this into a cooking show tonight. <laughs> so that was my, yeah, that was my favorite, man. Y'all, we're, we're, we're actually officially completely out of leftovers now. How about y'all? We are as well. You are as well? Yeah. I, I probably wouldn't be good at this point. because yeah, Oh, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's not even been a week. They're good. I'm That's stretching it. Three to four days in the fridge, man. No, no. It's pushing it. No. pushing it uh brandon uh, i just, it till it's gone if it takes a week two weeks <laughs> brandon thanks for jumping on he's from central louisiana shoot your questions over tonight we're going to play a little game but we're also going to answer as many questions as we can as we always do all the way through the end of the show but first let me talk we got a game no 
No. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about our, <laughs> our giveaway tonight, sponsored by Angler Cho- Angler's Choice Marine, who is the official sponsor of the show, the presenting sponsor of Let's Talk Fish. Another awesome, sweet co- – oh, you jerked it out of my hand. No, you You're go ahead. No, you go no, ahead, I sir. was going to hold it up yeah. with you so okay. it didn't sag down. Right, Look at there. Uh, a very See, high – I knew that, that's what happened. That's why a I A very high-quality weigh-in bag from <laughs> Angler's Choice Marine. We're going to uh, – the winner will take home one of those tonight, along with a Angler's Choice Marine hat. And uh, also – Big news coming Big down news. the pipe from Angler's Choice Marine. We've talked about we've talked about how awesome their tackle shop is, right? Of course. The the one in Martinsville has an unbelievable selection of tackle. The one in Spindale is really starting to pick up the pace. Yep. Lexington, I haven't been there in quite a while, but I know they've got some tackle. Yeah. I don't know what they have, but but here here's the bottom line. Bottom line is all of it is now available. On their website. Oh yeah, I forgot they did start a nice website. Their website. Trent told is, me he'd been working on that. Is for a up while. and running. It is www.amctackle.com. Amctackle.com. And to boot, guess what? Guess what? What? Our listeners. AMC or ACM? I, Angler's Choice. Oh, it should be ACM. He said AMC. Hold on, it might be ACM. It's got to be ACM. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, now he typed. Hold on a second. Let me see if it works. <laughs> Nope, that didn't work. He 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 texts me the link, so that's obviously try ACM tackle and see right, if that works. Let me let me let me get the Google box going here. I'll just take a wild guess and say that's gonna work. <laughs> I'm with Jeff. <laughs> Let's uh, I'm just reading what he I'm, I'm reading what he texts me, so that's my fault. Yep, it's ACM tackle. Scratch what I said. Shocker. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Jeffrey. Wait. Man, that's a sharp looking website. Are you on it? No, I'm Googling it and <laughs> having trouble finding it, matter of fact. <laughs> All right. The, uh, like, the website is acmtackle.com. And what I was getting ready to say, Brian. Acme Tackle Company? Wait, no, that's A-C-M-E. <laughs> like, I typed in A-C-M Tackle and I, it's not pulling up. Well, your phone's broke. But that very well may be. <laughs> uh, here we go. All our listeners are getting a code tonight. Brand new website, all kinds of really cool stuff. LTF10, go to the website and get 10% off. And free shipping over any orders over $50. Any orders over $50, free shipping. And LTF10 is your code to get 10% off as we speak right now. LTF10. And if that uh, if that doesn't work, call <laughs> Trent. Up it at is English not Tulsa pulling Marine. up on my phone. It's pulling up on my phone. Look, it's ACM the tackle. live chat button. ACM ta- <laughs> acmtackle.com type it in the actual oh i figured it would come up on the google search well it's brand new that is true brand new it may not google doesn't even know it exists acm you, you outsmarted google i did acmtackle.com <laughs> ltf10 for a 10 percent discount awesome website uh they got a lot of really really cool stuff there it is if there's something specific that you're looking for too, and it's not on their website yet, because I, I doubt they have all their awesome products uploaded uh, to the website, be sure to reach out, give them a call. They've got a lot of really hard to find stuff. We talked about that in the past. All right, they do get a lot of really hard to find stuff and a lot of cool <laughs> stuff that you don't see at most tackle stores, which is pretty neat. Angie said she needs the way bag. Make sure you stay on to the end of the show for the trivia question, Angie. But she said her husband. And her broke a handle on his when they weighed a 21-pound sack. I see that. That'll do it. That will do it. You're catching too big a fish. But th- this one I, this one will not break with a 21-pound bag in it. Guaranteed. No, it will not. Guaranteed. And it's even got a shoulder, sh- shoulder strap. Heavy, heavy duty. Heavy duty. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you got a tur- sport mode. Are you a turkey fan? Ryan Sowers wants to know if we're turkey no, fans. No, or, or, or a ham fan. Ham, all the way. Ham. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing about turkey. And my I'm not wife down with turkey. No, em- turkey's nasty. Emily does a killer turkey in the oven. She did one in the crock pot too. Phenomenal, super tender. But it's still like turkey to me is all, I just have to smother it's still it in gravy. Turkey. I have to yeah. smother it in gravy. Yeah. Like that's how I'm gonna eat it. I gotta yeah. smother it in gravy. But like a good right, honey baked ham. Yeah, that's delicious. Mm. That's what I've been eating on all week is the leftover honey baked ham. Now ham, you can't sandwich. eat for two weeks. You can eat it for like three months. It just exactly. The same. That's what I'm saying. I'll three months, at least. Yeah, it's already <laughs> cooked, and then you cook it again. You'll come up for the house a ham good. sandwich tomorrow. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> we don't need. Jacob's leftover. knocking on. I need an iPhone tutorial. I probably do, but I'm still on an iPhone eight. I don't know what version's current. <laughs> like probably a twenty. <laughs> 
<laughs> you talking about your own yes. star didn't support yes, him. Yes, almost came out of his head. I can promise you an iPhone 8 didn't support it. No wonder. No wonder. <laughs> Have you done an update on an iPhone 8 in 10 years? Not since I bought it. You got apps on that thing? That's yeah. not an 8, Brian. It is. It's an 8 plus. I was going to say it's huge to be an 8. Yeah. It's perfect. Mm. My gosh. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what version are they on? Learn now? something new like every day. 15? 14? 13. 14. I'm only 14. six versions back. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like if nine it's years. Your, if it's your first iPhone ever. Nah, they come out with a new one like every six months, don't they? Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. It works. <laughs> it's working. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> we got some questions. We got some questions. Oh. And then we're going to play a game. <laughs> let's jump into some questions, okay? Scott asked, how do I work? <laughs> I can't work my phone. How do I work the electronics on my boat? Isn't that the dangerous thing? <laughs> iPhone's like six times easier, too. You it's because they're hummingbirds. They're easy. Mm-hmm. And if I get in trouble, it's got a button that says exit, and I just hit it till I get back where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got a hard reset, too. You ever had to do that? No. Lose no. everything. Oh, just no. make sure you save your waypoints before you do it. I didn't know they had all, that. All, the, all those all those units have hard resets. Every, every manufacturer has yeah. a hard reset. Yeah. Yeah. You don't ever, ever, ever want to do it unless you I absolutely have to. I wouldn't know how to do it. Uh, they're all different, I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, Brandon. Let's answer Brandon's question. Brandon's probably, I uh, don't recognize Brandon's name. He looks like a new viewer. Appreciate him getting on. He said, uh, when we're having a tough day, what's your go-to bait? What's your confidence bait? I mean, I've heard I've heard you say stinger 6,000 times, so let's just go. We'll do something different. Anything but a stinger. All right. When you're having a tough day, if you can't if you can't throw a stinger, what's your second choice? My second choice is the four inch Demiki Armor Shad swim bait on just a regular jig head, like a quarter ounce jig head. Oh, we're, light line. <laughs> Jesus, I was going to say uh, basically the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's that's my second most favorite confidence bait. Like if I have to get a bite, I can wind that thing around and get a bite on it. Okay, so I'll. I'll I was going to say something very similar. I was asking to say my little signature finesse swim bait head with a little 2.5 yeah. Lunker Hunt Some finesse kind of swim bait on there. Swim bait. Yeah, but I'll say the Lunker Hunt finesse worm, which is basically like a TRD worm and on, an, on a net head because um, it's a bite getter. Like Brian said, like when you're having a yeah. tough day, a few bites, even if they're not keepers, will pick your confidence up. And you'll uh, you'll you'll get right back going on the and right track. And it's such a versatile thing. Like you can fish it from four feet deep to forty feet deep. Correct. That's why I said a bottom dwelling bait. Since you said a swim yeah. bait, because I don't want to say the same thing. <laughs> Let's talk fish tournament, man. We uh we need to have one. We do need to have one, Jeremy. He wants to know when we need to get us one up at Moss this winter. A wintertime Moss Lake Derby. Yeah, that'd be so fun. You think we get much of a turnout? I think he's talking about us hosting a tournament. Oh, like having a tournament. Not like two-on-two two or something. Oh, no, I thought work. he was talking about like two-on-two. Two. I, I think. Jeff's retired. <laughs> he's 1-0. and oh, He's retired. 1-0? <laughs> and oh. When did you win an LTF challenge? What? There's only been like. I thought you talking about throwing another tournament. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're, done. You're, you're not doing the Redfish deal anymore, are you? So y'all sold that, so no longer Southern Redfish Cup. Southern Redfish Cup still exists, just different different people. Okay, interesting. I, th- I was wondering about that because I saw a post by him the other day, and I didn't see your I didn't picture. Know you I didn't know you got rid anymore. of it. Sold it in December. Did you? Sold it in December. Got you. There you go. All right, let's uh, – they want to know what our biggest fish is. I know we've talked about that, but um, – Yeah, what's yours? Fielding 10-2. Mine's 10-7. Why'd you put it in quotes? Because I waited on my grandpa's old vegetable scale. It's probably the most accurate scale ever built. Well, these were like 1950 models. I'm sure they were rusted up springs and stuff. like your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Same year as his phone. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Dad just chimed in. I don't see Dad watching very often, but Dad just chimed in. He said, Angler's Choice Marine, I did not know this. Thanks, Dad. Is also offering a free sun shirt with your first $25 oh, that's purchase. that's pretty cool. Well, that $25 purchase, so that sun shirt is... 25 bucks. Worth more than 25 yeah. bucks. So you basically get $25 worth of tackle. And a free shirt. It, with a free shirt. Yeah. Well, I was going to try to say it the other way around, but it wasn't going to work. Or do you buy a shirt <laughs> and get free tackle? <laughs> or do you buy the shirt and get $25 worth of free tackle? <laughs> However you want to say it. it anyway. You can convince yourself either way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's... Uh, what a rig do we use? Angie wants to know oh, what a rig we question. use. Hey, she, uh, she actually said she saw you throw one in ultimate match fishing at Dale Hollow. Oh yeah, God, that was so fun catching those smallmouth on that thing. 
So the the A rig I throw is a little finesse A rig. It's made by <laughs> ER Lures here in North Carolina, and uh, it's just a good little finesse homemade. No blades. Uh, no. Yeah, it's got blades. Okay. It's got four the uh, number three slick nickel wheel leaf blades on it. And it, it's really light wire, and I think that's what makes it so good. Like, it's very castable. I can pitch it around like a spinnerbait, fish trees, docks, and, you know, put it where you can put, you know, a spinnerbait or anything like that. But it, it's a cool little A-rig that Rick makes them, and uh, it's ER lures. Ryan wants to know, so I use Shane's baits when I use one. I honestly have not even thrown one over a year. Yeah, Shane makes a good one. But too. I use Shane's baits. I've used that nine wire a lot, the little. Uh, yeah. I'm like you. I haven't thrown one in so long. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, have you ever been ice fishing, Jeff? I have not. Have you ever been ice fishing, Brian? I've been fishing when no. it's really, really cold, and I had <laughs> ice all over me, <laughs> but not ice fishing. Well, you actually had to fish through the ice. I've never done that. Okay, I, I haven't not. either. I think it'd be cool to do. Yeah, Ryan, we just get in kind of fun. No, Ryan, well, I'm sure, I'm sure Ryan probably, he said uh, another month here in Michigan, they're going to be ice fishing. He wants to know if a stinger's going to work in the ice. Stinger works ice. everywhere. Stinger works yeah. Mud puddle, ice fishing. Yeah, mud puddles and ice fishing. Okay. <laughs> That's another t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> mud puddles and ice fishing. That's right. Yep. All right. We, uh, <laughs> we are going to jump into our little game. All right. Game we're going to play. Um. I have no idea what Matt's got going on over there. He's been keeping. I just thought it would be hush, fun, and hush, we're going to find out who's been watching the show the longest. So, are we playing or who's playing? You're not playing. Okay, I'm well, not. You playing. said it was a game. The I viewers mean, are playing. Oh, okay. Well, are, yeah. Like, what's it for? Is there anything on the table up for grabs? Or no, it, no, just pride. Just for bragging fun. rights. <laughs> I like it. Jeff just over here. Just Jeff, Jeff's going to call him out. Am I missing some, Jeff? No. <laughs> So he's, <laughs> do you know who said it? Yeah, you. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Absolutely no idea, but it's going to be a pretty fun game. I did say that, didn't It's going to yeah. encompass the whole <clears throat> yep. time that That's we've been on. No, it's really not. I it's just really read not. It and, so. let me, let, pass me the sheet. Let me look at it. This one? Yeah. Well, I need that back because I didn't write one of them down. Well, why so, do you have to have them written down? So the name, <laughs> oh, Fielding is Trent from Angler's Choice's son, by the way. What's up, Fielding? Um, we've never met, but I've heard about you. So let's uh, <laughs> let's let's jump into uh, jump into our little game. So basically, the game, the whole oh, gist of the game. This was shirt ideas. That, you done? What? Do you want me to start the game? Yeah, by all means. Okay. <laughs> the game is who said it. So we've had quite a few guests on the show over the past, what, three years, roughly. Um, there's been a lot of really quirky sayings, um, some really dumb stuff that's been said, <laughs> some really silly stuff. But it's all funny. It's all funny. It yeah. is. A lot of things that really didn't make sense, and if you need some explanation, that's what I'm here for. But I'm going to basically say a quote <laughs> or a sentence or a phrase or a one-liner or whatever it is. <laughs> And you're going to have to tell Some me who said it. Everybody's all already answering Brian New, Brian New, Brian New, Brian New. <laughs> there's a lot of these. A lot of these were probably said by Brian. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, there's some that we couldn't use because we didn't know exactly who said them. Right. But I will t I will still go through some of those here in a minute. Um, that's correct, Ryan Sowers. If it doesn't make sense, it's Brian New. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. That's true. That's very <laughs> all right, true. let's start off with this one. Let, we're going to start off easy and work our way to the tougher ones. And I need you all to respond in the comments. <laughs> who said with, what? With who said it. <laughs> Whether it's... who. Y'all really know some does. of the guests we've had. It, we, we know who the, the, the people, like Ryan Sowers, <laughs> he's been watching the show for probably going on all three years, all 130 or 40 episodes that we've had. Um, Have some, we done that many? Some people will not. Still I, we've done a lot. Mind. Yeah, we've done a lot. I forget this is like the fifth studio we've had. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, there we go, Jacob. <laughs> Emily will throw in the corn casserole recipe for the winners. Ooh. Which is all of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First quote, first saying, first whatever you want to call it, first one-liner. I just need to know who said it. It's me and Matt. I know the answer to that one. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that something? Me and Matt. <laughs> Who said me and Matt? Who says me and Matt like 68 times? That is correct 
the league. Grammar. All right, Kyle. Kyle, Kyle Ford. That's correct. Winner. I don't care Ky- what Keith y'all Wood say. said Jeff. <laughs> Brian, that's 100% accurate. All that right, next, next one. Next one. Next one. <laughs> the next one is where's your pee bucket? <laughs> Where's your Who pee bucket? Who said that on the show? Who said that on the show? Where's your pee bucket? <laughs> I do correct Smoke every single time he has improper English on this show. That's what I'm here for. It's going to take a minute for this one. I think this it is, will, too. This is, this this is, is oh, like, no, we already got one. Alan Coe done nailed it. That is exactly right. Andy Montgomery. Uh, Good and, job, Alan. Andy Montgomery. That's impressive. He was. He was on That's the show. impressive. He was on the show very early, and what happened was <laughs> is he had a co-anger getting his boat up at St. Clair, when it was, you know, it was a little bumpy out yeah, there. Yeah, a little bumpy. And he got, like, Andy's exact words on the show were like, I basically got cussed out by this guy because we get out there and he's like, he where's like, your pee bucket? And he's like, I don't have one. And the dude <laughs> legitimately got mad at him. And I really thought he was going to cuss him out. So, all right, <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Andy Montgomery, Alan Coe, you are the champion. Uh, until the next What's question. What's the next one? What's the next one? The next one is, they're called Shad Birds. I'm not sure I remember who said that. Do you not? They're called shad birds. That's the quote. That's the that's the, I think that's I do. the comment. I think I do. They're know. called shad birds. And the question on the show was, what do you call we're talking about blue heron? Ryan Sowers nailed it again. Ryan's going to be like, he's going to be Yeah, Ryan's up, getting man. all the Alan, 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 Alan got it Alan again, Coe too. Got it. And Kyle Forsman said Brian, but we need a clarification on that. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It was a Brian, so take it. It was a Brian, right. so... <laughs> we'll give it to Kyle too. Kyle, Ryan, and Allen. They uh oh Ryan said he's still waiting on that T shirt. Fielding said new also, so we got like five people that knew that one. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. The next one's the next one's pretty uh pretty tricky, but this is just his typical response and uh it's basically one word. But who says it all the time and he goes Yes. <laughs> And it's just like that. Just, just, just yes. yes. Just says yes. <laughs> that was a pretty good so, interpretation. Was it? I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> I mean he. Uh, it, it, I mean, we've all said yes on the show. If you this one get is right true to it, but uh, oh, Ryan, oh, no, got Ryan got it again. <laughs> oh my! You know what? If Ryan, if he's Ryan got beats him, Kyle, you're correct too. If Ryan beats every single person to the punch tonight and wins, like literally gets every single one right, we got to send we, him. We got to do something. We got to send yeah, him we gotta something special. Something. So uh, yeah, it's hundred percent. I'll Jeff. send you a shad bird shirt for free. <laughs> <laughs> you there you go. Off. He'll custom make you a shad a bird shirt. Custom made for shad free, bird shirt. If he gets now now. There's going to be a couple that are going to be pretty tricky. But, all right, here's the next one. Some of them, I don't know. Here's the next one. We need a (laughs) – yeah, everybody nailed it after Ryan got it. But um, Yes. I mean, Kyle, Michael, Chris, (laughs) Brandy, Keith. Say it one more time, Jeff. Yes. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) When when in doubt, yes. (laughs) Next next one, next one. I think that's ungoogleable. Googleable. <laughs> ungoogleable. I think I think that's ungoogleable. <laughs> I give everything away, Keith. I don't know if I know this one. We didn't. We need to know who said that. I think that's ungoogleable. You don't know who said that? <laughs> like I. I I was, it was thrift. Yeah, I was going to Chris say McDonald. I want to say it was me. <laughs> <laughs> it was thrift. He, yeah, he said that's ungoogleable. I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of when when I said it, like what the context was. I couldn't even say it like right. What was, like, what was uh, now? I want to know what was on. T two fishing got it. Brandy got it. Ryan Allen. Well, somebody tell us what was on Googleable. Probably so, an answer to <laughs> a trivia. Something it was a, on your phone. You no, know, it had to be an answer to a trivia question, <laughs> right? On Googleable. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's keep it rolling here. Here it is. Y'all ready? They can't actually answer me. I'm playing, me, too. So. I just can't answer. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff doesn't know the answer. He's over there answering in his head and going, yes. I mean, he's going, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. In 2008, I was in seventh grade. And he was a guest on the show with multiple people that night. And we were talking about, like, our rookie year. I obviously wasn't here for this show. Yes, you were. You were sitting right beside me. 
I was. And we had guests on either end. That's a hint. We had guests on either end, and we were talking about, like, when we started our careers and yada, yada, yada. And he just looked at us, and he said, in 2008, I was in seventh grade. <clears throat> Jeff doesn't even know the answer to this one. Yes, I do. No, do you really? I think I do. I do. Well, I mean, they're they're narrowing it down, but I, I don't think – I mean, he. I, I'll give you another hint. Has the answer this been an said odd, yet? This, this show was in an odd location, too. Canterbury wasn't in – Seventh grade in 2008. He's older than me. What in this? <laughs> what in this show in a different location? Fielding said he wasn't even born yet. Uh, yes, it was in a different location. It was yeah. not here. Yeah, yeah. In what a, location was it in? Another of not the, in a studio. It wasn't in a studio. Well, that's true. Yeah, it's accurate again. And I was here. You were there. You were you there. Here. Not here. Oh, <laughs> tricky, <laughs> tricky. It's gonna take y'all a minute. I have no idea. All right, I'll, I'll start giving some hints because it may take him a while. He might be the youngest <laughs> guest we've had on the show. The young, I think it's the youngest guest we've ever had. Youngest guest that's a professional. Correct. Well, yeah, well, I don't who think else have we had that's not a professional. I don't know. You? <laughs> yes. I'm older than he is, I can promise you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just, yes. Not KJ Queen. <laughs> See, that's who I was thinking. So he, he drove a long way with somebody to be on the show. And it was, he is a Bassmaster Elite Series pro. You sure I was here? I mean, I'll show you the video if you want me to. <laughs> I mean, mentally, maybe not, but mentally, physically, but you I were don't sitting think I beside was. me. Yeah. Like, my memory's fading bad. It was it's not getting, Jacob Wheeler. It's, it's getting very bad. All right, Matt, tell us who it was. Alan Coe said Canterbury's buddy. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's accurate. Um, all right. We gotta we gotta move on, y'all. We gotta move on. It was Wes Logan. Wes Logan. Wes drove all the way from Alabama with Canterbury, and it was cool because they 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 wanted to be. I had made a deal with Canterbury because I said if you win Angler of the Year, you got to come up and be on Let's Talk Fish. Oh yeah. And him and Wes got in the truck and drove all the way here to do the show. And then Where they turned the show at. And then they turned. It was in Jeff's guest house, and you were sitting well, right beside. That was a studio, him. huh? That was a studio. I forgot. I forgot. I thought it was at the uh, classic. I couldn't remember what show it was. Yeah, that's Just, what was throwing me. That's off. it, Ryan. A little ball of hate. <laughs> a little ball of hate. Why is that? Is he hateful? I've been around Wes. He's always been pretty nice. Because he was. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, Wes was on the show at <laughs> Knoxville too. The classic. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. So he's been on the show oh, twice. I forgot we did do that one. Yeah, that's where I thought it was. Yeah. I knew it was West, but I couldn't remember what show. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, let's let's jump into another one. To the next one. Uh, Samson. <laughs> y'all ready? Y'all ready? <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Swint, 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 Swint. Oh, Samsonite. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Alan, that is, <laughs> that, that would have been a good one, Alan. I do remember that. I think I, I call Wes a hammer on the. Show and he said, "No, I'm a nail." <laughs> uh, all right, next, next quote, next, next comment, next, next uh, phrase, whatever you want to call it. I need to know who said it. Peep the flat bill. <laughs> Peep the flat Peep bill. The flat bill. Now he might have been referring to somebody in particular that's been on the show. So Junior Green said they call him the what the the ball little ball of hate because he hate to lose yeah he hates to lose yeah Alec mercer, mercer nicknamed it that. Wait, oh alan Coe go. got it it was thrift talking the about bill. peeping the flat bill and what were you what were, were you referring to wheeler you're probably referring to wheeler i don't know what i was referring to probably wheeler A probably flat, wheeler. flat bill obviously yeah um all right here's <laughs> another one how come all these sayings are like mine Wait. <laughs> Why don't you say anything funny? Man? I've already t I've already told you this before the show started. You're the only one that says anything stupid all uh, consistently no, this on the is show. Funny, or funny? I'm not going to disagree. They're they're funny. <laughs> oh, Emily said she got denied. YouTube won't let her paste the corn casserole recipe. Really? Stupid YouTube. Now yep. now we're going to get kicked off. Text it to me. I'll see but, if I can post it. Yeah, <laughs> text it to Jeff's phone and and see if he can get see if he can post it. That is that's weird. So. She said she will post it to Let's Talk Fish's Facebook page. It won't page. let her post it in the feed? Apparently not. She's trying to put it. may be. Oh, you can't copy and paste or something like that? I wonder why. 
I don't know. I wonder why. I don't either. Thank you, darling. So go to Let's Talk Fish's uh, our official Facebook page, and uh, and she said she will post ah. it there. Oh, too many there characters. We go. There gotcha. We go. well, you can post it in like seventeen yeah. comments, seventeen <laughs> different comments. <laughs> <laughs> you want to drive somebody crazy trying to write a recipe down? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, mean. Why would you do your wife? Like yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. She's not going to do that. Uh, Ryan said, explain to you what a character is. What's that mean? Too many characters. I know what a character is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Illegal ingredients. That's why Gary said it can't be posted. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, oh, Mike Harris said, Ooh, take a, a screenshot idea. and post it. So can you post a can you post a picture on a feed on a feed, Jeff? Do you know? I have no idea either. I assume I don't know. Yes, I've never done it. Oh, he's, hey, he's, he's, check, he's straying from. You're supposed to just say yes. <laughs> well, I don't want to say something that I don't know the answer. to. I need to. that back. Oh, All right. I don't think you can. <laughs> All right, next one. Next one. Waffle Fishing says, no, you can't post a picture on Oh, page. okay. I need to know, uh, I need to know who <laughs> said it. I need to know who said it. I'm guessing this one. F F well, don't do it in the mic because you know the answer. Oh, I do. You, okay. To this one you do. Possibly. Fishing heavy medication. Oh, yeah, I do know that. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Fishing heavy medication. <laughs> That was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> Chris got it. Chris McDonald said Matt. Yep. Matt Nailed said it. it. I said it. So it just. It, it, oh, got, Ryan missed one. You got to know. Oh, no. You got to know our buddy, <laughs> old Bruce Camp, a.k.a. Thunderfoot. Yeah. He happened to be sitting in on a show one night. <laughs> Bruce is, uh, I don't know why, but I just, I was talking about fishing vegetation. <laughs> Fish and vegetation, and I made eye contact with Bruce, and I said, fishing heavy medication. <laughs> Maybe Bruce looked like he was on heavy medication that night. I don't know. Sorry, if you Bruce. go back and watch the episode. I love you, brother. If you go yeah. back and watch the episode, I panned to him right when you said it, and the look on yeah. his face. <laughs> awesome. You got to oh, find that episode. That was a, uh, because <laughs> if you pan to his face, that's worth going back and watching. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I feel like we're missing some. Like, I know when we had Tater Hog on, we had to have a good one liner from Tater you Hog. You know, I always ask for help from y'all, but I just never, never seem to get any. Of course, Jeff hooked me up tonight. Um, I was say, that's perfect. No, Chris Lindahl hooked us up. All right, let's go, let's go to this one right here. <laughs> By the way, I'm looking at the corn casserole recipe. Are you? Oh, it's where up. Is it? Yes. But where is it? It's up. It's on my live. phone. It's all oh, she texted to you? Yeah. Awesome. All right, next uh, next quote, next saying, next phrase is, he was up there raping nature. I know who said that. He was up there <laughs> raping nature. That's right. If I say that too many times, we might get kicked off. <laughs> you think? <laughs> nah. All right. The phrase was, he was up there raping nature. <laughs> That's right, Brandy. Brandy nailed it. It was thrift, hundred percent thrift. Talk. I don't even know what you were talking about. I mean, somebody that was cracking. It, yeah, cracking I, I, I don't remember boat. the context I used it for that time, but it was definitely thrift. I remember the first time I ever heard it. It was one of my buddies in high school said it, and it was funny, and it oh, just stuck with me ever since. Some somebody else. Yeah, somebody it was else like said that dove hunting. We were dove hunting or something, and like a whole herd of doves flew over Covey. Mm -hmm. And he shot like he. You only have three shells, and he shot three of them, killed three, at one pass, like boom, boom, boom. And somebody yelled out something about raping nature, and I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got to be Duke's Mayo. I didn't know. Oh there was yes, another mayo. thank you, darling. By the way, yeah, uh, so that's a good point. Duke's Mayo is not available everywhere in the country. It's available what other most mayo places is there? now. Hellman's. I yeah, mean, I don't you, eat you helmets, can, but... You can still find it, like, up north. You can still find okay. it a lot of times, yeah. All right, so it's got to be Duke's mayonnaise in the yeah. recipe, by the way. If anybody's, anybody's wondering. Um, it's got to be Duke's anywhere. That, Keith said that's the only mayo. We don't eat Zots anymore, Scott, because Jeff quit buying them. That's true. Have, and Matt <laughs> ate them all. No, I have a whole other bag in there, I think. Oh, those have got to be bad. Didn't Seriously? they go bad? You want them that bad? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the last bag that we had when we were in the warehouse, when we were in the warehouse studio, <laughs> that could be that could be one. How does it go, Jeff? 
What? What I just did. <laughs> I, that could be a quote. I don't know. Well, okay. Didn't last time you have some trouble with the Zots? Dude, there were rat turds in one of the bags. <laughs> you must have got that from the plant. That was from the plant. <laughs> that was from the, plant. That was from the sure. warehouse studio. Uh, yeah, but I thought you had like some stomach issues from them one time too. Or it something. might have been a rat turd in them. I don't know. I might have accidentally <laughs> ate some rat. No, I didn't have any stomach issues from the Zots. That I thought I remembered you telling me that. Not that I remember. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's got Duke's mayonnaise in, in Michigan. See, I told you I've seen it up north before. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Here we go. We got another quote coming up. It is. Oh, man. Where, where am I at now? Here we go. One job. Oh. One job. They give away awards for making money. <laughs> The quote is, they give away awards for making money. You don't even have to know who says that to know who says it. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Patrick's, yep, Chris Bam. McDonald. Man, we Bam. got like a, it's like a <laughs> two, maybe, it's like a two, maybe three horse race tonight. Chris, Brandy, yeah. Waffle Fish and killed it. Ryan. Keith Wood got it. Ryan did not get it. It's new. It is new. All right, so Brian New said that, said to give away awards for making money. What exactly was he referring to? Trophies? I guess. Probably. I don't know. Had to be. <laughs> it was trophies. I need to get an award. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you know in Bass, and I've talked about this before, and it's a little bit disappointing, but in the Bassmaster Elite Series, you can finish second in an Elite, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever, just not first, and you don't get nothing. I mean, you get a paycheck. Yeah. But you don't get anything, like any hardware. No, we don't either. But, oh, y'all don't get anything for second? No. Through ten, so used to FLW, we always oh, got yeah. stuff. Always through 10th place. Always, which yeah. I thought was cool. I did too. And I here's here, here's my argument with that. And I don't know if we, I don't, we've never talked about this on the show. but That's a good point. It is a very, I mean, for these organizations as big as they are and with these sponsors that they got, it's a very low cost investment in my eyes to give away trophies for at least fifth place. Right? Yeah. Top five. Anyway. And when you get a trophy at a tournament, like especially, um, a BPT event, MLF, Toyota Series, or I get one in an elite tournament, whatever. You always see these guys post them on their social media, first yeah. thing. And what are you promoting? You're promoting the organization that you yeah. fish and their brand. Mm-hmm. Dude, I remember, like, seeing, in, like, the old timers, like, like Guy Aker, Larry Nixon, that fished, you know, the Bassmasters way back when. Yeah, they get plaques like, for, like, 50th place. There was a plaque place. for, like, 50th place, yeah. Like, it's awesome going in and seeing guys set up of all the plaques from the Opens and the Top 150s and things like that. Like, it's pretty neat seeing all that stuff. Yeah, that's right, Keith. I think they could afford trophies <laughs> for yeah, now second we don't get fifth. The trophy at all, unless you win. <laughs> Let me tell you about my pickleball tournament I played in real quick. <laughs> This ought to be good. <laughs> hey, come on now. I played in three pickleball tournaments, Jeff, and I've won all three of them. And I have not made Your a dime. Opponent's average age is what? 78 ish. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're Listen, talking about pickleball. It's here. funny though. So the the first official tournament I played in, so, not official, so, wasn't even official. It was so like this a, this is all <laughs> coming together now. This makes sense. Uh, I mean, so what a couple we, weeks ago, what are we doing here? I should not have started this. <laughs> oh, no. This is a bad idea. No, it's so, a bad idea. I was wondering why. Like you remember a couple weeks ago, I met your mom and your dad in the, at Ingles in the parking lot. <laughs> And Matt's dad invited me to come play pickleball with him. I, I told him, I said, I'd love to. I'd never played. It'd be fun. I haven't been yet. But he was telling me how good Matt was. Like, he's like the best there is out there. I didn't know you were playing against a bunch of 70, 75-year-old <laughs> men. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, I did get injured playing pickleball. Where does this, <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. That's what I, where I does, made, Where does this pickleball take place? Let me tell you something. Let me, let, just so y'all know, and y'all live in this county, there's like 250 plus pickleballers in this county now. We have an outdoor complex. Are you ranked number one? We have no, <laughs> no. We have an outdoor complex <laughs> over here next to the old middle school that has six permanent court. I don't, I don't even know why I'm telling y'all this. Like this is stupid. Please, Jeff, you so got, I had please, a point. I had a whole point in this conversation. Please text me everything I need to be a pickleballer. <laughs> a racket. Jeff, you got to quit. And I'm going to I'm going to come play pickleball with you. How many people's on a team? Well, it's either singles or doubles. Jeff, me and you, we're doubles. I'm in. Balls. Just tell me what I need. Me and I'll Jeff's a team. I'm going straight to the top. Okay. And I'm going to ride his coattails because we're a team. <laughs> so what do you rank, really? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ranked. <laughs> 
I, I was getting back to this point. So <laughs> I went to this tournament in Hendersonville. I can't even look at Jim. I went to this tournament in Hendersonville, and I played in, I played in the men's doubles bracket and a, and a mixed doubles bracket, okay? Mm. And, and we won the men's doubles, and we won the mixed doubles. Oh, it cost $10 to get into men's doubles and $10 to get in the mixed doubles, okay? I got a plastic trophy about this tall and a nice. T-shirt. I won two tournaments in one day, Thrift, and I lost money. They don't have any payout? No. Have you ever done that in your life? No, but it was fun probably. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. But yeah. I came home and I told Emily, I said, I actually won both brackets and I lost money. <laughs> $25 to drive to get there, $10 to enter each division, and I got a T-shirt and two plastic this, trophies. About where three. So where did the money go? I've never been in a tournament with 0% payback. Well, there's a lot of pickleball tournaments that don't have actually money payouts. Where did this? Unless you, you fishing, for, I mean, you playing said professionally. You cost you twenty five dollars to drive there. Well, it was in, it was in Hendersonville. So you drove to Hendersonville just to play in a pickleball tournament. Correct. It was on a Tuesday. Girls were in school. <laughs> My wife was <laughs> loving this. We need a camera Jeff. on Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all done. Oh God. <laughs> uh, my dad just said, uh, my 70-year-old father and I will take on Jeff and Thrift. I, I would like to and play. We, and since y'all we, we, we got to play. Since you want to play for money, we'll just throw whatever you want to in the pot. I did not say anything about playing for money. <laughs> just tell me but what I, I need. I would like to play. <laughs> I don't know anything about pickleball. I don't either. Oh, okay. Yep, that's right, Patrick. In a year or so, this comment will be on the who said it. It'll be the comment will be it's the first time I ever won two tournaments in one day and lost money. <laughs> so I don't even know where I'm at now. Let's uh, let's jump let's jump on the next question. I mean the next statement or phrase or whatever you want to call it. Do we have any viewers that play pickleball? They look. I thought just come out and say it. Just come out and say it if you do. Don't hide it. Be proud. Be a proud pickleballer. <laughs> Our average age zone was like forty. I don't think so. Listen now, come on, listen. Go, hey, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, love Jeff, this. go over to the pickleball career. courts at five or six p.m. in the evenings every evening. <laughs> I know my dad plays pickleball, and they're all ball. younger than you. They're all younger than you. Let's go play now one in night, the mornings Jeff. during the week. It's a lot of the older crowd, but if you go out there in the evenings, they're all thirty to forty year old class because those are the those. Where are the does this take place? I just told you, but you're not listening. At the park at the Shelby. There is a Shelby pickleball complex outside outdoor complex in Shelby now. It used to be tennis courts over there next to the old. I don't know. Our viewers are hating me having to explain this to you, but it's. No, I'm getting an education. Like I'm, I'm all jokes aside, I do want to go play one day. It's it's over where the Shelby Intermediate is now. It used to be the middle right school. Towards the liquor store. Yes, the ten, <laughs> You know where the liquor store is, don't you? <laughs> where, the, where where the tennis courts were. They're they're actually now pickleball courts. It's the PACC yeah, Pickleball Association of Cleveland County Facebook no. page. There's a Facebook page. Uh, <laughs> that's right, Jerry. It's not as easy as you think. I didn't say it was easy. I just next time you go play, call me because I want to go for real. I played today. You didn't call me. Well, you wouldn't come. You were deer hunting. No, I didn't. Where did I, I get pickleball fishing. rackets from? Um, Where I got, I I got gonna, one you can borrow. I, he, you yeah, go I'm out gonna, and buy one. I got one you can I'm borrow. A, I so you borrow one. See if so I like I'm going to beat you with your own racket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm game. Yes. <laughs> Fastest Seriously, growing though, sport in the United States right now. Next time you go, call me. I want to go. It is the not racket sport. It is the fastest growing sport in the U.S. right now, surprisingly. Oh, uh, Jacob, I'd consider it if I thought. Pick, here's the thing about pickleball. So I looked up like pro tournament payouts just to see, and like if you win, like the, say, wait, 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 say that again, like the pro tournament payouts, like the professional, just like, to see what, just to see what they make in profession. winnings. No, absolutely not. He's taking his number one Cleveland County ranking. 100% not. <laughs> to the national I mean, level. 100% not. But you got, you're curious, right? I mean, these guys make it off endorsements and stuff, yeah. the top players, obviously, because if they go out and win a major level, top tier level tournament, biggest tournament circuit in the U.S., it's like $4,000. Yeah. $5,000. Like, that's it. It's yeah. not good. So, long story short, no, I'm not going to switch to professional pickleball. <laughs> I'm not Seriously, good enough though, to next, switch next to professional Next time you go pickleball. play, call me before you go. I want to go. All right. I'm going to go uh, probably Friday morning and play. I don't think I have anything going on. Okay. Me. So there we go. <laughs> Jeff, you in? <laughs> Friday Absolutely morning. Absolutely not. Not until after Christmas. <laughs> Why not? 
We got to get back. You We're going to run out of time. You run stuff for you. You can go. We still got a trivia question that we got to get to at the end of the show. We, should, we got a couple more of these, these, these fun little phrases, comments, <laughs> quotes. All right, here's the next one. Here's the next one. Let's, let's jump back into it. Here's the next one. <laughs> Jeff, quit looking at me. Small mouth are the enemy. <laughs> That's it. Small mouth are the enemy. That should be a T-shirt. And it, <laughs> it really honestly should. We probably never sell any, though, because everybody loves small mouth. Except for a couple people. Yeah, but it could be a play on, you know, the opposite. Like, you know what I mean? What's that? Brandy called? got it. It's thrift. It was thrift. 100% Small thrift. Small mouth are indeed the enemy. Yeah. That, um, I'm glad you're entertained, Keith. We had, it was kind of funny because we put out our last episode and we thought, look, we were, we thought we were helping people and you we don't did. get on, you don't get on YouTube and read the comments on our videos, which there's not a lot of comments. I'm reading on them right now. No, no, no. I meant post comments like after like once the show's oh, on there gotcha gotcha <laughs> and this guy said his and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i don't know who it was but he made a comment and i was a little bit offended by it because i thought we were doing something to help people right because mm -hmm. everybody's always like give me some christmas ideas everybody wants christmas ideas shopping ideas yeah and we gave some really cool items that are on black friday sales right i mean 20 to 30 percent off on all this stuff some of them are still going on <laughs> i know the pulsefishlures.com is still doing their 30 percent off the entire website until wednesday till, till tomorrow um, yeah, I think Sportsman's has got some stuff going through December the 1st. Yeah, so so we were given our top three uh, recommendations for Christmas gift ideas for that special angler in your family. And uh, I think the guy's <laughs> comment was like, I used to like y'all's show, but then you got to talking about Christmas gifts and goofy stuff or something like that. And I'm like, and then, you know, that's refreshing to see Keith Wood say, I love it, I love it, boys, because y'all are just cutting up yeah. tonight and having a good time. And we're enjoying y'all interacting. That's what we. Do. That's why we do this show is the engagement from the fans, from the viewers. That's the unique thing about Let's Talk Fish is we are live and we are engaging with y'all as we speak. And there's really no telling where we're going to go. Or what's going to be said. That is very Obviously, true. Obviously. We're going to go show. live from the pickleball. Well, we, we might go on a 20-minute oh, oh, rant about pickleball. We 100% are going to play pickleball <laughs> live on LTF one night. Speaking of pickleball, 100%. Jacob wants to know if the pickleball arena is called the pickle jar. What? <laughs> Never heard that one before. Never heard that one before. Wouldn't it be great if the pickleball arena was called the pickle jar? I thought he said it was called the pickle oh, jar. Oh, yeah. Spencer said Scottsboro, Alabama is building a complex also. Hey, I might, oh, there my, you go. my pickleball bag will be in my truck on the Elite Series next year. Because if we have a travel day in between, I'm going to find a court somewhere. That's right. There you go. It's I gotta, I gotta check this out. It's yeah, a good, it's a good We're, workout. You're coming Friday. We're playing Friday. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Kate never could do anything. You Jeff. can. Next quote. Next phrase. Next comment. All right. Here it is. You ready, Brian? I'm ready. It's a good one. That big thing came right down on it. Oh God. <laughs> That's the quote. <laughs> I, that's got to be. The quote yeah, is, that I'd big be. thing came right down on it. They'll get, everybody get this wrong. Yeah. Everybody will get it wrong. Really? Yeah. The quote is, everybody said, new. It was definitely not. See, that's who I was going for. Wasn't like, new. That's gotta Believe be it new. or not, it wasn't new. That uh, big thing came right down on it. I know who it is. Yeah, you do. I told you, I thought. No, I don't think you did, but I, I know now. Okay. I think I see the answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Brandy, <laughs> Brandy got that one. Good yep. night. <laughs> it was Hank Not Cherry. on top of it. <laughs> Brandy's killing it, too. It was Hank Cherry. It was. And what he was talking about was the <laughs> 10, I think it was a 10-13. He caught, when we were at Ray Roberts practicing for the Bassmaster Classic, he caught a 10-13, and he was flipping shallow wood, and it was on a, I don't know, some kind of soft plastic, but I'm sure it was a Berkeley something that he was flipping. And the water was clear, but it was flooded. Yeah. And he, he rolled it over a log, and he said he saw her come over the log. He said that big thing came over right down on it. <laughs> and he set the hook, and it was a 10-13. Caught it in practice. Um, and anyway. then went on to win the Classic. And then went on to win the Classic. That's After, a good week. Catch a 10-plus and win the Classic. <laughs> yeah. Week. That's a good yeah. week. That's pretty. Uh, That's a pretty good week. That is pretty awesome. All right. We... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at some of these quotes and they're bringing back memories. <laughs> here's one. Here's one more right here. I hate all rivers. Oh, that's easy. I hate all rivers. 
Anybody that's watched the one show will know this. And any lake with the name River in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. It was thrift. I'm noticing how the answer to every question or every quote is thrift and new. Thrift, yeah, well, that's the only two you, names you, you that are called out there? there. I mean, yeah, well, hey, uh, two brines don't make a mat. Remember, that was a famous one, too. <laughs> that, was, that was the title of the show. That was the title of the that show. That was the title time. of the show. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more, one more, and then we got to get to our trivia question. All right, thrift. It was thrift, y'all. Matt got it right. It Fisherman eighty three. David Prince. Uh, Jr. nineteen. Gene got it right. A bunch of y'all nailed that one. Jerry Glenn got yeah. it right. Anybody that's watched a Kyle one got it show right. Knows yep. that. <laughs> we uh, we got one more. And that is still true to this day. One more, and then we're gonna jump into our trivia question. <laughs> And this is the last one. And I forgot about that. Uh, the, the, the Rape and Nature one, too. Um, what about it? <laughs> Some of these I can't even say. Like, it was hard for me to say that big thing came right down on it because you two started laughing like, like little teenagers. <laughs> I didn't come up with I'm going to do two more because there's so many good ones on here. And uh, and we got to give credit where credit is due, too. So <clears throat> this one was an idea that somebody had. And it is thrift riding a bald eagle, and the eagle is grasping a stinger. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did you Somebody say? said that? Thrift, thrift riding a bald eagle, and the eagle is grasping a stinger. <laughs> That would be so majestic <laughs> if we had that. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I think it was like a T-shirt idea. I think yeah. it was. Too. I don't think anybody ever actually said that. No, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was definitely somebody's idea. He might not, but I clear this. This was like a clear vision that came across my head a minute ago, and when I get those, it's very rare, so I know it's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can see your hand movements, thrift. No, it was behind There's the a phone. camera up there. It was behind the phone. <laughs> you can't see that. <laughs> Oh, it, wasn't it looks Watson. like I was scrolling. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you were scrolling. <laughs> it was Jeff, Randy. It was Jeff. <laughs> it was Jeff. Yep, that was a that was a t-shirt idea. We were coming up with different t-shirt ideas, and <laughs> picture that Jeff thought of was thrift riding a bald eagle with a stinger in the eagle's talon. <laughs> I, I mean, can't, that's I can't, as good you know, as it gets. I can't. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, last one. Last, last one. one. 756, last one. This is the quote, by the way. This is the, the, the saying. It is, <laughs> what did I just say? What? You said last one. What did I just say? No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a <laughs> I knew oh, that, that was, that was good. No, no, that's that actually good. it. It's what did I just say? <laughs> that is that Fisherman What's 83 bad? nailed it. It was new, new, new. Because you know, news always saying something, and he's like, and here's the thing, like. What's I mean, bad is you got me and Jeff with that <laughs> big guy. Like, you got I us I saw good. it, and I said, I got I to gotta use that one to yeah. see if they'll, they'll like bite. You, you, got you, you just gullible. got us back for the pickleball comments. Gullible. <laughs> got him. <'em>. Got him. <laughs> uh, it was new. It was new because about half See, of everything. See, there it is again. Thrift or new? That's the only two answers. About, well, about half, I mean, I can't help that. I can't help that all the dumbest <laughs> things that come out of I'm people's mouths talking. are from y'all. Can I be on the talk show and not talk? Uh, what? <laughs> you can. You can. It wouldn't be as fun. All oh, right, gosh. it's trivia question time. Brian, you got anything <laughs> to add? There was there was a question oh, earlier. Man. I think we answered this. The Red Crest at Norman. My phone went crazy again. The, well, I got, right, got I, I got you. I got, got you. It, I got, got you covered. It. Yep. F um, Red Crest, Lake Norman. What about it? It's, is it now the biggest five? or is it? Uh, yeah, I think it is the biggest five. Okay, now. somebody asked that earlier. We need to clarify. Yes, I'm, to my understanding, it's five fish now. Okay, cool. That's good. I like that. I think. I like that. Could go either way, though. <laughs> All right, trivia question time. The trivia question tonight is for the Angler's Choice. I know Angie earlier was, was wanting one of these bags. Here's the thing, Angie, here's the thing. If you don't win tonight's trivia and you don't win this bag and a, English, and a nice Angler's Choice hat, go to their website 
now that it's live, oh, yeah. use the LTF10 code and order you one of these bags. And get a free sun shirt. And get a free sun shirt. This bag, I'm, I'm sure this heavy-duty bag is over 25 bucks, And then you get a free sun shirt to go with it. But if not, you can always add a little bit of tackle and get it over 25 bucks. And you can get a 25 you can buy a sun shirt and get $25 worth of tackle for free. Yeah, yeah. that too. That too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can pay $50 shipping and get everything for free. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> you lost me on that one. I figured. Uh, yeah, my brain just exploded. <laughs> Time for the trivia question. I'm over right. here Googling here we go. ball rules. We gotta give uh we gotta give Tyler Ward, our buddy Tyler, credit for the trivia question tonight. He came up with it. He did verify the answer for me to make sure it was right. What is the answer? I don't know. That is the answer right there. Can you read that from there? I can. Okay. That's the answer. Got it. First one that comes across our feed is the champion. And uh we don't know if this is ungoogliable or not. I think it's googliable. You think it's googliable? I do. Okay. I really uh, do. The answer. I mean the question. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Oh, look at him. Yeah. He's on a roll tonight. Yeah. He's on a roll. I have given away the answer <laughs> more than once. You haven't done it in quite some time, though. You're due. Uh, am I? I'm I a, don't know. I'll try to hold it tight. <laughs> try to hold it tight. All right, so here's a trivia question for the English Choice Bag. Get, I need to ask you a question just so I can hear you one more time. Yes. 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 <laughs> I love it. Uh, trivia question. Pickleball. <laughs> You're killing me over there. Well, we do a whole episode. You're playing Friday, Jeff. We you do a whole episode on pickleball. What time does this go down Friday? Man, it's like all day. What time do you me and Jeff need to be day? there? No, the... I usually start. I, I I usually get there between eight thirty and nine, and I'll play right. till eleven thirty or so. All right, I'm gonna pick you up at fifteen to nine, and, and we're going to play pickleball. Yes. What do you wear? You gotta have like, like shorts and sweatbands on your on your head, <laughs> tights and stuff. What are you wearing to play pickleball? <laughs> Peter Pan outfit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what's what are you wearing to play pickleball? I can't take it. I should have never brought it up. <laughs> All right, here's a trivia question. Everybody's waiting. You gotta have sweatbands around your wrist. I know that. Any pickleball sport, skirt, you need a headband and two sweatbands, and you're good. For, you wear whatever you want to after that. And we shorts <laughs> with knee high socks, two stripes. You gotta have two stripes on the socks. <laughs> T-shirt idea, Joe Mitchell. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Jeff. Will you? Hey, for real. Make me a T-shirt that says that with a pickleball on it. What? Tickle Jeff Mitch, Jeff Mitch, tickle Mitchell's. the pickle. Is that what you said? Tickle said? the yeah. pickle. <laughs> I can do that. I, I want it. I want a green one though. We good? We good? Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. You want a medium so it'll match your tights when you play? <laughs> yes, that'd be where it works. Medium. <laughs> <laughs> Extra medium. All right. Trivia question time, y'all, for the English Choice sponsored giveaway. Appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. We had a blast. Hope y'all did too. And uh, I, I had know, fun. I hadn't laughed this much in a while. We didn't talk a ton of fishing tonight, <laughs> but we had a good time, and that's what this show's all about. I hope y'all did. And uh, we'll be back soon. I'll be gone next week. Uh, but I'll I will be back. likewise be gone next week. Yeah, so I'll be back in studio the week after that. How about you? Uh, let me look at my schedule. <laughs> Do you know how to do that on your phone? I do. Do you? Exactly. <laughs> All right. In the Let's meantime. See, next week, 6th, I may be here for the 13th. Well, your schedule is obviously not on your phone if you don't know. Well, I don't know because I've got an event in Florida, and it depends on how I do if I'm home. Oh, okay. Hopefully I'm not here. Yeah, hopefully you're not here then. All right. Well, we'll get you all uh We'll get back in the studio just as soon as we can. But uh, in the meantime, here's our trivia question for the 68th time tonight. I need to know the total combined weight <clears throat> of Brian Thrift and my first tour-level wins. There you go. Mine and Brian Thrift's first tour-level wins, which is two tournaments, for anybody that can't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. Bring I it down the, one more time. I need the total combined weight. So over four yeah. days, three days, four days, whatever those two what tour it took level to wins. Win your first tour now, I'm level not talk, victory. I'm not talking about Toyota Series or Bassmaster Opens. I'm not talking about any AAA level events right. or AA level events. Strictly professional Strictly level. Strictly top tier level event. Yeah. Um, total. The total weight. Mine plus his. I need the total. In pounds and ounces. In pounds and ounces. This is going to be a hard one. They're going to have to Google it. 
Yeah. If it's Googleable. It's got to be Googleable. It's Googleable because that's how I got the answer. Okay. Matt got the answer Googling it. Um, I haven't seen the answer and, yet. And these were both, I'll give you a hint, they were both. Let's tell them the lakes. <clears throat> the lakes were Beaver Lake and Lake Norman. There we go. The lakes were Beaver Lake and Lake Norman. Ooh, I seen a really close one. I did too. Y'all, they're coming through fast, so y'all, y'all, it is, it, it's, it's Googleable, Googleable. Keith. Um, Matt, Matt Googled it. Oh, it's like we got about 10 <clears throat> seconds and we're going to see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I'm just saying. One, uh, I mean, well, there's a lot of really close. There is ones. arithmetic involved, so it might take longer. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we have calculators. And on you got to figure it's Norman and Beaver. Y'all, they, they're coming event. through so fast on my phone. I need help. Y'all keep an eye out for it because I don't want to miss I'm it. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see it yet. You know what's funny is I haven't seen an answer from Angie yet because she might be the only one that's not just randomly guessing she's, and actually she's adding She's working. Up. She's Googling. So when that one answer comes through from, from, from Angie, I'm calling it right now, it's actually going to be right. I agree. I mm. agree. Mm. That's what I'm going with, too. Ooh, that was close. Anybody that gets on uh, and fought, good night, they're coming in here hot. <laughs> I mean, I've never that's seen answers. That's going to be a tough one to Google, I've never too. seen answers come through uh, this quick. Oh, you got one? No. I need it. In, I need it. <laughs> all right. I need it in pounds and ounces. Pound, like, okay, one on England said 115.8. That's how we need the answer. 146.3. That's how we need the answer. That's not the answers, y'all. But that's how we need to see the answers. <laughs> um, I did see. I, I saw when you said, ooh, I saw a couple that were super close. Yeah, I see one. They came really one time. I actually saw one on the high end and the low end of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's one. Got it. I got it. Got it. Joe Mitchell? Yep. All right. Whoa, I didn't get it. It's Joe Mitchell. All right, Joe Mitchell. Joe Mitchell, it is 117.8 pounds. It was me with 59.3 and Thrift with 58.5, which under my calculations, which aren't always right, but Tyler double-checked me, it was 117.8. Sowers came in a strong second at 315.9. 315 pounds? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that would have broke. That's a, that's a hundred. That would have been excellent. That was a hundred, it's almost 160 pounds of tournament. That'd, that'd be pretty solid. That'd have been pretty strong. That'd be a good tournament. Yeah, one on England was super, super, super close. I've seen by some just 117s. I've seen some 118s. I saw, yeah, I saw 117 <laughs> and a 118. That's when Jeff started losing his mind over there. Um, I'm just thinking about pickleball. Je <laughs> <laughs> it's going down Friday morning. So, Joe Mitchell, my man, congratulations. Uh, send us a message on our Facebook page of your shipping information. You'll get the bag and the hat <laughs> sent out to you ASAP. And um, that's the base. <laughs> and went to school in Virginia. That's the best <laughs> I could do. That's pretty good. Pretty good because you were dead on, Joe. Uh, yes, congratulations sir. to you. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, six after eight, so not too bad. Maybe the next show we could give away a signed official pickleball racket from Matt Airy. Those those two things are hard. Look, I'm not. I don't have pickleball squads. I have to pay for my rackets. I'm not giving them away. Pickleball star. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like so. There's a there's a there's a uh, a rating website that rates you. Are you right? No, no, no. Oh, no. I was going to say that. Like in the cool. three tournaments I played, they weren't even like rated sanctioned. No, they weren't even sanctioned. Gotcha. Events. Yeah. <laughs> you know uh, what I picture? You remember that movie Dodgeball? That's what I picture. It's pickleball, though. It's not dodgeball. I know, but like that's how I picture it going down, like the how dodgeball close is tournament it to tennis? In, in Vegas. So it's like a it's like a mix between tennis and ping pong. Perfect. So it's tennis on a smaller court with a few different rules, and the, basically the ball is like a wiffle ball. Perfect. Gotcha. It's a. Uh, but it's something about it's the kitchen and. Oh yeah. All that. You learn all about the kitchen. I'll teach you about the I might have to do some studying. Dad, yeah, just, you, just YouTube the rules of pickleball. Watch five minutes of it, and you'll be ready. There you go, Angie. Exactly. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a pickle. Bam. Another T-shirt idea. <laughs> <laughs> y'all y'all appreciate you. Um, Bill, don't worry if you got oh. here too late. I know you missed the trivia. We have one every show where we do awesome giveaways. You know what we might try to work up? We gave away a pay We've given away some really cool stuff in the past. We have. We gave away some Costas not long ago, and I talked to uh, my buddy at Costa not too long ago, and he said anytime – Y'all need a pair of glasses to give away. Hit us up. Where I'm yeah. gonna hit, I'm gonna hit Evan up. Try to get us another pair yeah, of glasses to give away idea. here soon. And I know there, I know the inventory is kind of tight right now. Brian and I are still waiting on our batteries. Actually, 
for our 23 boats. But I have spoke with Rely on, I think you did too, about giving yep. away a lithium battery on this show also. Yes. Um, obviously, they'll have to ship that out. We can't handle shipping lithium. Right. At least I don't want to attempt it. And Jeff's shaking his head, absolutely not. No, uh, <laughs> no we don't want to do uh, But anyway, so we, we're going we're gonna to get together some really cool giveaways. Try to get those in uh, before Christmas so uh, anybody that wins those can shoot, yeah. re-gift if they want to. Well, I mean, just I keep it as your own off yeah, gift. That's what I would do. <laughs> I wouldn't really gift rely on batteries or Coastal sunglasses, no, but no, I wouldn't either. You never know. You never know who might win it. They might have a surplus of Coastas laying around or something like that. They you might want to give it to their too son many or daughter. Huh? You can never have too many Coastas. It's true. It's true. Yep, that's another T-shirt I did. Don't mess with me, or you get the pickle. Y'all are going <laughs> way too far with this. <laughs> going way <laughs> too far. On that note. We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta go. go. We'll see y'all <laughs> hopefully in two weeks. And we can't go fishing. We're gonna sit right here and do what drift? Talk fishing. See y'all.